Hi, it's Cypher 3 here, and after sorting out the gearbox, I needed to put the laptop into the car and run the program whilst taking it for a drive. Now, the only problem is, is the battery in my laptop's rubbish, and I haven't got an inverter. So, I needed about 18, 19 volts. First of all, I ordered a new ironing board cover, not because I'm going to do any ironing. This one's getting a bit shot through. Could have bought another one for four quid. I splashed out. Got this one for seven, maybe eight. Gives me a nice little silicon bit here that I can put my hot glue gun. From Argus, ages ago, I bought a power adapter. And I always chop the top off because I tend to twist all the wires around whatever on power before I built the power supply unit. And I had these laying around. The problem was I needed the socket adapter for my laptop was neither one of these. So then I bought these and they had the one I wanted. Now the one from Argus, the two pins were exactly the same. And I pulled this plastic bit out of the plastic shroud. And then when these arrived, they just wouldn't fit in. This strip down here, the pins are slightly bit wider than these ones here. Only by a smidge. So then I bought another power adapter. Now this was only six or seven quid. And again, I'm gonna chop off the head of this so I still can use this if I need to be. And that come with these. And again, this socket has the slightly bigger connector. The small ones will still fit in and still makes an electrical connection. And then this gives me a few more other options to play with. What else was I going to need is a selection of fuses. Some standoffs that I already had laying around. Cigarette lighter, an old fan connector, an inline fuse, two connectors. The reason I got two was then I'll resolder another connector onto this. Whilst looking through my odds and sods, I found a switch. This is a 12 volt switch. Just a quick tip the fans have a little arrow on them. The side one indicates which way the fan is going to spin around, and the arrow dictates which way the airflow is going. So I'm going to put it on this configuration, and this is going to be sucking air up. Now I always keep my old tips. This one here, as you can see, is quite bent and misshaped. Um, but this is often quite good just for melting plastic. New tip that's gone in, dip it in a bit of flux, wrap a bit of solder around it and turn it on. And as that heats up, that will then prime your tip ready to use. And now you can see, tips then start to become tinned. And there we go. Now I'm just going to turn it off. Something else I found really handy. Is one of these uh, craft hot air gun dryer things. Absolutely fantastic for doing heat shrink. Put it on, hold it for a little while so it heats up. Absolutely fantastic, look at that. Always when soldering these in, try and keep this in here. Um, sometimes if you don't, the, the heat generated as you solder in the tip can actually bend these pins. The other end of that pin then going to be cut onto this. I might cut it quite short. Put it about there. That's then going to go onto there. And then I'm going to solder the other one onto there. So I still can use that. And I'm going to cut this halfway through. I'm going to join in an inline fuse. I've got the end on there to the connector. These are going to be taped up. A bit of wiring loom tape harness tape onto a switch going down to the fuse and I'm going to tape these to here and tape them to there and that's going to go in the box and then we should be virtually done and dusted I bought a couple of LTC buck boost power converters and one of them messed up um, and then I bought another one and that one wasn't right that one messed up or was messed up before ordering it and then I bought another one and that one's messed up as well so I decided to leave off with the LTC boost butt converters because they were causing problems. So I bought one of these, which is 150 watt, 10 to 32 volts on the in and 12 to 35 on the out. And this is an FT module. I've made a case for it, as you can see, a box, which is gonna go on Thingiverse. And here's the lid. Now the problem with the lid is I've made these snap fit joints and they were a bit too tight on the tolerances. Car cigarette lighter. This one has an eight amp fuse in it. This is gonna go then to a fuse with four amp. 
in, the laptop will take 3.5 amp. On off switch, a XT60. I'll put the XT60 on there just so then I can attach other things to it as and when I need to, whatever they might be, crocodile clips or whatever. These are all the ends that I have. So there's a massive, vast array amount of devices that could be powered. So now all we have to do is put it together. So in here, if you can see it, we've got an in positive, and it's an in negative, an out negative, and an out positive. So first of all, I'm going to get this little clip thing, slide that in there, and then bring this bad boy in, and hook the in into there. The out negative. There's a hole here that this goes through, which when that goes on there, lines up with the uh, pot that's there, which will allow me to adjust the voltage. Now we've got me DIY bench power supply. Plug this in, 12 volt. Fans working, hopefully you can see that. Got the ends there. I'm gonna poke these into here, it might go minus because I don't know which way I got these around. But there we go, 12 volt. Is it the right way around? Yeah, it's the right way around. So we're gonna to wanna to bump that up to 18 volt. 18.5. That is now starting very slowly but it is starting that is all being run with this module here and if we can have a look on the old temperature of the board it's slowly warming up it's 30 degrees in there obviously i don't want to get in too hot because POA, give another 30 degrees, it will start to soften. So there we go. So, so all that left now is to crack the top on. I'm going to feed him down there somewhere. Oh, he's a bit. I can go down there, that will go down there. I think we had he in first. Let's put that one in first. That one wants to go in first. I bet it does. There we go. That's busted off. That was nice and tight. But that's going to need a little bit of alter, alteration. And then just with these bits here, obviously I haven't got any cable relief from the strain. And it's going to be on the laptop in the car. But this should stick really well. So that's it. All the links are below for Thingiverse. If I come to redo this project again at some time, I might make a few altifications to it.